Hello there and welcome to BNETTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. We're here at CTIA Wireless 2008 in Las Vegas and I am joined by Arthur Giftakis of Tower Stream. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. We appreciate me, that. So well, let's start with the, with the basics. Who are you guys and what do you do? Well, Tower Stream is a wireless internet broadband provider uh, where our goal is to provide quality broadband access in nine major markets in the United States from Boston all the way to LA, Miami, Dallas, Chicago, uh, New York, Seattle, okay. San Francisco. So, Broadband access, mm -hmm. what is it about how you guys are doing what you're doing that's making you unique in this market? Well, unique to us is we provide all of our service wire with a wireless medium. Uh, and we provide a high reliability, high access solution. Uh, with that, we're not, we don't have any telephone company um, in our network. It's all done. We own our own network. We own our own last mile. It's a truly unique um, solution for it, and we cater to the business providers. Okay. So, sort of give us... Does a consumer, like how do we find out about you? How does a consumer sort of access it or is it something that they don't really see because you're working more with the, with the carriers? Okay. Well, we don't as much work with carriers as we are exclusively business. We don't serve the consumer community okay. yet. We are strictly for the business community. And the business community, if they don't know who we are, we have um, inbound and outbound call centers uh, that reach out to the business customers and let them know about Tower Stream and what we offer. Okay, and so how, how do you, I, I suppose, you know, we have wireless, and then we go into Wi-Fi, and we go back to wireless, and we go back to, to, to Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So when people are using your network, what's the, what's the quality of, of the service like? Sure. Well, we provide Internet access. So, um, so you know, similar to Wi-Fi, it is wireless, but it's, it's really, the Wi-Fi is considered for the local area network. We're considered for the wide area network, the okay. WAN, and we're providing people access to the Internet via our network. And why is it that you've sort of chosen specifically the, the enterprise market? Well? well, we've decided that the um, small business to enterprise market are underserved. Their only choices are the existing telephone companies, and we give them a redundant and alternative solution to that choice. Right. So if I have a smartphone, for example, and I want to be able to have Internet access, mm -hmm. then yours is a network that I would have the option of using if I'm a business person, mm -hmm. or is it my, my company, per se, that it's, has to sort of right. have it's, that relationship? It's more, it's more for your company. So when you go into a 10-person, a 25-person, a 1,000-person office, when those people are on getting their email and net, they can go th over a tower stream line okay. uh, network to get those services. Okay, one of the reasons I was asking that question is that I know, for example, you know, if I'm, um, well, like we're on the road and we've mm -hmm. got a team of people here with, with, mm -hmm. with BNET TV mm -hmm. and we need to be able to do a lot of, um, you know, sort of email and, and, mm -hmm. and back and forth to the office and that mm -hmm. type of thing. And so it's good if we can actually all be on the same network together mm -hmm. if we have to do things together, but we would like to be able to use our mobile devices mm -hmm. doing that. We're not in an enclosed office space. Right. Well, the good news is we do provide the infrastructure for the office space. We are looking at the mobility solution. There are new standards out there called WiMAX, which is part of what the CTIA issue is all about, right. that is going to support a true mobility solution where you will have that capability. And we are starting to roll some of that out. Um, you know, it could be a little while before you get to that end functionality, right. but we're real excited about the possibilities. Right, and you said you were in nine markets in the U.S.? Nine markets, and we hope to be, you know, in 15 to 20 markets is shortly. Do you, you look at, at a market as far as, um, you know, population or strength of technologies there? How do you sort of determine where you're going to lay your footprint, if you will? Well, we look at the business data and look for the number of businesses in each particular market. Obviously, New York is one of the biggest markets, and we just simply go down the list. Uh, you know, L.A. is a large market. Dallas is a large market. Miami Miami is a large market. We're essentially looking at the population base and the amount of businesses per population. Right. And who are you looking to speak with here at CTA? <laughs> you, of course, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> that was the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of our vendors are here, and uh, you know, we talked to a lot of the analysts here, which we're excited about too. You know, which all legitimizes wireless. We're seeing kind of the perfect storm of wireless right now. All the new vendors that are coming out with these sophisticated technologies, right. which all in all are enablers to provide the end user businesses hire, um, you know, more robust applications that they need to right. support. So what, what kinds of questions are you asking the analysts? What, what kind of information do you really need to find out to, I guess, sort of better prepare yourselves or future-proof yourself? Well, you it's, it's more the questions they're asking me about how the business is going and, you know, how we're making our revenue numbers and how sales is going and how the health of the company is and what we're seeing in the, in the business market. All of those, um, you know, are trending up and are very good right now. Right. And so what do you feel is, is really going to be contributing to your overall successful business model? Well, I think, you know, it's a combination of things. One is, you know, the 
the availability of wireless, you know, to the business users, the acceptability of it. Um, you know, if you look at this show, um, not more than four or five years ago, there wasn't this type of turnout. Now they're looking at 40,000 at the CTIA show. So we're pretty excited about this, just the, the broader acceptability of wireless as an uh, acceptable medium. Absolutely. Arthur, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us here. We've thank been with Ar Arthur Giftakis from Tower Stream. We're here at CTIA Wireless 2008. And I'm Michelle Sklar with BNETTV.com.